Meet the Titan Arum, a giant flower from the rainforest in the Indonesian island of Sumatra and one of the smelliest. This flower is one of the biggest in the world and is technically multiple small flowers. To get to this point, it can take 10 years since there is a lot of steps to get here. First, the seed creates a giant leaf that looks closer to a small tree than a flower. This leaf can be almost 15 feet tall. After about a year, the leaf dies, leaving the base called a tuber, dormant. After a couple of months, a new giant leaf grows and the cycle continues. The tuber repeats this process of death and rebirth to supply itself with enough nutrients for the main event, that being the spadix, the big tower thing in the middle, surrounded by a spade, that thing that looks like a petal. At the bottom of the spadix, there are two rings of flowers. The upper one contains 1,000 cream-colored male flowers, and the bottom are pink female flowers. Now here's the thing that makes the flower famous. After some time passes, the spadix heats up to around 99 degrees Fahrenheit, close to human body's temperature. As this happens, the spade opens up, making the titan bloom. You'd think that this flower would smell nice, like others, but it doesn't. In fact, it smells like a rotting corpse, earning the nickname Corpse Flower. Even the color of the inside of the spade is meant to resemble decaying flesh. You see, this is how the titan attracts pollinators. Insects that feed on things like rotting flesh and poop are their pollinators. The flower then stays open for one to two days, usually in the evening and at night. From here on out, until its death, it will bloom every four to five years, making this a rare spectacle, and this flower one of nature's most unique ones.